Hello, people of you. I can miss your views. Um, since October, I'm reviewing some of the uh, early uh, Simpsons Tree as a Horror, and I'll be starting with the uh, Tree as a Horror Tree, which is uh, in season four and episode five. I'm beginning pretty good cool with the uh, home doing a parody of uh, his hawk. His hawk, I remember. And does that slagging that uh, Christians call them the uh, uh, wimps and chickens because they won't turn off their TV. But when the TV seems like it's uh, off, he's just shocked that it happened. And then the open sequence begins and I just I love the music, the visuals, it's just great. It's something that you want to watch every Halloween or just uh, every October or whatever. Anyway then, it just shows that uh, Simpsons having a Halloween party with some of the kids there. And um, Homer is dressed as a... Some sort of Greek icon, I think. But it's a toga as he rips when it... Uh, when he goes down the stairs. And uh, Barry is dressed as uh, Alex from Clockwork Orange to complain that the party is only fun and he's still going to trick or treat him. Uh, Mars tries to get the, the mood of the Halloween the spirit going with her passing around There's some food saying it's part the parts of a, of a witch that died. But Homer starts eating it. So at least he decides to tell a scary story about uh, an evil uh, crusty doll that Homer buys from um, some sort of uh, shop because he forgot to buy a, a birthday present. Um, it's kind of obvious. It's kind of a reference or, or something to a uh, Gremlins. I sort of the guy that selling the stuff is a uh, blue, and that's a classic scene of uh, the guy saying some of the Homer saying that's good, that's bad. Oh yeah, that's a uh, frozen yogurt, and he called it Frogurt. Hmm. Uh, about to look at the crusty doll. He and Homer have a bit of a moment. The uh, Abe it, it drops it saying the adult's evil. Uh, Bart just points out that he said about all the other gifts and then to say they want some attention. <sighs> I'd say uh, Abe has some of the best lines in this episode. <laughs> I'll get to those later on the earlier line he had was that they gave Bar some money <laughs> and say that the government gave it to him and you didn't need it or you don't earn it, don't need it. But if they don't give it to me, I'll complain. <laughs> Oh god. Anyway, uh, the doll tries to attack Homer after Homer pulls his string. But when Homer just screams and everybody comes out from the kitchen, it's still. And it starts to uh, walk up to Homer laughing, but then you need Homer to pull the string again. For some reason, I didn't think it needed to get the string pulled. And after he attacks Homer, Homer's in the but I, I just runs out went past uh, Patty and Zelma in the kitchen and I think Patty says that that was the last of my uh, heterosexuality. Mm. And then of course he pr tries to uh, put on the moves on Lisa's uh, Malibu Stacy doll. Bill Homer takes Corsi away and puts him in a sack full of his uh, dirty socks and put him in this uh, hole, as I think uh, a lot of other people put stuff in the hole as well since uh, some Italian mobster puts a dead body in the hole and some guy puts inappropriate pictures of Whoopi Goldberg there but I think bounce back up 
It's all the Norton one said those pictures. And somehow the, the, the doll is able to um, strap itself to the uh, Bob McCormick's car. I don't know. And it's Tax Farmer and Mary Swiney sees what's happened in the horror day that the toasters, toasters laugh at him. And then the doll just puts uh, Homer's head in the dog water. And um, Mary's just called to come to complain about the doll. And the guy that's come to fix it does by showing that somebody sets the doll to evil. Because there's a good and evil setting. And the doll and Homer get along, you know. Uh, Homer treated the doll like a servant. Like give him food, walk the dog. Give him a sponge bath. <laughs> And of course, he is still uh, trying to woo the who saved the doll for some reason. And it was then a romantic note. Uh, for the next story, uh, Homer tries telling a scary story, but he just ruins it by leaving out things or forgetting what he previously said. And Abe is just plays in a uh, hopped up the scary things. Uh, Bart, uh, saying maybe he tells tell scary story since he, uh, let it interest his wife. And they say that, uh, that's a lie and he knows it. But he's seen a lot of movies. And a lot of these into, uh, King Homer. Which is just like a, a parody of, a uh, King Kong with, uh, Mr. Burns being a person trying to capture uh, Homer and Mr. Smithers. To being his assistant and marriage being uh, uh, Frey, Frey Ray. Yeah, I say it's good, but it's not as good as the last one. I mean, what's some funny moments like uh, Mr. Burns not able to throw a, a, a gas ball at Homer and uh, Homer actually falling from the Empire State Building and getting get with that high or something and they do repeat uh, the the image of Homer smiling with his teeth out like uh, I think they did in the original uh, King Kong movie but mm. um, yeah that's about yeah I think the King Kong one is probably the weakest of the three stories, but it's not the worst. And as I said, as I said, there were some funny moments like uh, when Lenny and Carl are talking to one of the guys that's on a boat and he asks what's on a on a candy apple island. Uh, Carl says that there there's eight, but not that big. So, uh. Anyway, uh, then uh, Mary tries getting kids uh, apples that. Candy, but they're kids and I want fruit. And then there's some, some, uh, his trauma marriage, and, uh, this had this guy come through the door, sounds really Ned, and he got to give uh, Abe a heart attack. And uh, Bart just starts his story by saying that he has, has some, some scary to wet your pants, and Abe saying that he already did. Uh, God. And it's and the story is a uh, dial Z for zombie I think I remember the, the dial Z part and it is Bart goes to the library since uh, Mrs Carbopo wasn't happy with his uh, book report on a book for uh, preschoolers about the name Finnis eh? yep and he finds a uh, section of the library that he never seen before and finds a book that could be similar to the Necronomicon from the Evil Dead. And it also turns out it's the four year anniversary of a uh, Snowball One's uh, death. Um, Bear tries using the uh, resurrection spell to bring him back. And for some reason, he's wearing a uh, 
an album cover of uh, Michael Jackson on his head. Uh, instead of bringing their old cat back, as he brings zo some other dead people back from the dead, like the zombies. And I have to say that the coloring on the people that are turned to zombies is also great. Their, their, their skin's like pale and there's like uh, dark shadows around their or back or on their eyes or something. It's just great and the reaction Homer gets when uh, he asks, uh, he asks uh, Bernice uh, uh, to direct the car when he, said, when, he, when he said that he did something bad and when he asks that he raised the dead and asks, then asks uh, his car okay and he doesn't really care about the zombies. <laughs> uh, when the zombies do get into the Simpsons house, Homer does get himself up but the zombies are really want to don't have a brain. And then he starts uh, thinking that the library might have a book that uh, reverses the spell of bring back the zombies or bring up zombies whatever. And they go to the car with Homer having the, uh, I think it was an elephant gun or something, I don't know what it was called. And uh, Fla Zombie Flanders turns up and saying they peck it and asking me nibble on Homer's Ear Homer shows him a bird says, Dad, he killed the, the zombie Flanders. And Homer's like, uh, He's a zombie. But this is what, probably the funniest line in the episode. You know. Anyway, they go to school and uh, Homer sees Barney uh, chewing on the arm, but it turns out he isn't a zombie. But then uh, some other zombies, like uh, Zombie Washington, Zombie Einstein, Zombie Shakespeare. Turn up and Homer just said, uh, hits or suits out to trade them and just getting some good one liners. And for some reason, before Zombie Shakespeare uh, passed out, he just asked, Is this the end of Zombie Shakespeare? I don't really get that. Anyway, uh, Bart needs to get to the part of the library where the dark stuff is, and Bart does. Uh, do a spell but it turns out Lisa into a giant giant uh, snail and she asks what's wrong. Bart would say that they just know him what a beautiful young woman he's becoming. I got baby things I fell for that. <laughs> and then uh, yes, yes, it's a right spell and zombies actually go back. Uh, the four one of the zombies that's the uh builds his uh, grave there's this uh, zombie from like uh, the Dark Ages saying that he said uh, John Smith about the cowboy uh, zombie saying was asking me is he, is he John Smith of 1882 or something and the uh, Dark Age uh, John Smith just goes off saying his it was his mistake and since they're glad that they weren't turned into zombies but when they're watching TV they start talking like one since when it sounds like somebody falling Homer's like uh, uh, someone fell or something like that. So it's kinda like being zombies, but whatever. And that's where the episode ends. And this is a great episode. I like always the middle uh, uh scary story isn't as good as the first or last one, but still good and as I said, Abe gets some hilarious lines in this or just says uh, some funny ones. And I will say that uh, Homer soon zombie Flanders, I was realizing it's a zombie, was just great. And uh, McLean even said that's his, uh, that's, uh, his uh, favorite line from the Trials of Horror. Um, the, just good references to uh, most stuff. Um, just say good music overall. And, yeah, pretty good one. And next time, we'll, the stories will feature a devil, a gremlin, and vampire. Uh, some might be might be some surprises there. And if you know what they are, then won't be surprising. Anyway, uh, until next time, I'm a soup. If you guys 